In this video, we're going to be attempting to repair a Nintendo Switch Lite. It won't charge, it won't show the charging symbol, nothing. And the most you get is 0.12 amps out of it, so it's drawing like 120 milliamps and that's it. And that's typically common with the power management I see going back, which you can see there. I pulled another one off another board. This one, I believe, works, so that's going to go in there, essentially. So we're going to see if that fixes the problem, but you can, if you go and hold the power button, it will show up the Nintendo, and then it'll go right to the battery, and that's it. So we're going to attempt to fix this. So I'll be right back once I get the Nintendo Lite apart, and then we'll go from there. And yes, I already did actually changed the charger port on this because the original one was loose side to side so I went ahead and just completely changed the port out and of course it still does the same thing so I'm going to go take this board completely back out again and we're going to go ahead and work on changing that power management IC so you do got to get the board completely out and then flip it the other way around and it's going to be this M92T36 that's the IC we're going to be changing. That's the power management IC. I do got a what's new to me, but out of another board, one of those. So we're going to go ahead and throw it on there and see if that fixes our problem. So here's the old power management IC which we moved. It goes right here, of course. And then we're going to go ahead and plop the new one back on there pretty much. Make sure, of course, if capacitors end up blowing off or loose that you do put them back on there otherwise it won't work so I'm gonna go ahead and resod the new IC back on there so went ahead and installed the new power management IC and one thing to note though if you do get a couple bridges or whatever all you gotta do is just add a little bit of flux and drag solder it across and that will clear the bridge either way it goes this went on smoothly there was no problem so I'm gonna go and clean up the flux and then We'll go and test it and see if this Nintendo Switch Lite works and starts charging. If not, we'll have to look for other problems. So I went ahead and just plugged in the battery and had the board kind of hanging about right now. We're just going to test it. And I want to just see if it negotiates with the power management IC. And that instead of getting 5 volt at 120 milliamps, that we get more like 15 volts at about half of that. So let's just go ahead and plug it in and see what it does and yes it was successful so we're getting what we're supposed to be getting and that's what you expect until it powers on and of course goes to quick charge state but yep changing that power IC definitely fixed it so went ahead and installed the board back into the chassis I do have some of the screws missing because I got them over there because I am going to take this heat sink back off change the dermal paste and also I'm going to go and clean the fan and stuff while I'm at it. I also went ahead and gave him a new charger port while I was at it because like I said old one was loose so it was easy enough to do. I said mine as well and let's just see if we get anything in. Yes and I even think it's going to turn on. Yep. So we turned on all the way and yeah it did. Okay and let me go ahead and do that because this power supply for some reason it does that on all the switches but there you go it is charging again and you can see there yeah it is right now slow charging after a while it should pick up to about an amp and a half but yeah she is working I'm quite happy and there you go so yep this power management IC was faulty, and changing out did fix the issue, so I'm going to go and let it charge for a little bit, make sure it actually does the fast charging as well and stuff like that, and then we'll conclude this video pretty much. And for those of you that replaced the M92 or have a good one on there for sure, and you're getting 5 volts but zero current draw, you do also want to go ahead and check this fuse as well right underneath the charger port because that typically also goes open too and if it's open you do need to replace it so one of the things that you definitely want to go ahead and do as you're reassembling it 
is change the dermal paste out underneath this copper shim and on top. Underneath that copper shim is actually the APU and the dermal paste actually dries up on top and on the bottom and the reason for that is because I have done a lot of reballs on these where they end up going blue screen because the dermal paste dries up and then it can't effectively cool itself so if you don't want your APU going bad change the dermal paste okay went ahead and put all the shields back on there and you can see I also went ahead and cleaned all the dust and stuff out of the van and everything so now I'm just going to get the back cover on and we'll power it back up for the final time. So went ahead and reassembled the Nintendo Switch Lite fully. And you can see battery's charged up to 36% now and it is working. Of course I can get in. And there you go. So this concludes the video on the Nintendo Switch Lite M92IC replacement.